Hey Retro fans, welcome to another episode of Retro Gaming Memories Mini. Um, in this episode we are going to talk about a game that I've never played before and that is Rayman on the original PlayStation. Um, now I know this is a, a much loved game by, by uh, many many people, um, famed for its animation so um, we're going to give it a go. Um, I've got the PlayStation 2 set up here just because it's more convenient than digging out my PS1. Um, so yeah, let's let's dive in when it comes back to the menu, which would have been useful. Okay, let's dive in. Ugh. I hate it when, <laughs> I hate it when they do this. Um let's go back for a second, hang on. So, oh for God's sake. Right, okay, so yeah, when you get to a screen like this. And you just think, what one am I supposed to be picking? I presume that start would have been picked by default instead of enter password. But, and then you never really know what one you're supposed to be picking. You know, which colours, which colours the active one. Because, to me, that colour should be the same as what you're actually, you know, if if you're validating something, pressing it to start. I'm, I'm dropping into user design here. Aren't I? Um, you know, that to me, the blue is the blue, that that's the one that's selected, so, but it's not. That's, Anyway, that's just me being pernickety. So right, okay. Jump, fist, and action. So yeah, a bit of a design flaw there, and other games do that and it really annoys me. Um, right, nice little animated sequence, but we'll skip that, okay. I like the little scrolly thing, that's pretty cool. moment. Action sticks his tongue out. Um, so there's a little bit of physics there. He's a little bit floaty which is quite cool. Uh, can we do some kind of double jump to get this? No. Things like this slightly, not the best start to games, it things like this slightly annoy me in that, you know, there's, there's something there and no matter what I do, I can't get to it. I'm trying to do double jumps and stuff, no such thing. I thought maybe you could do like Mario double jump. I don't know how to get that. That's slightly annoying. Right, okay, fine. Um, Oh, I wonder if that catapults you. Is that like a catapult thing? No. Alright, okay. That was fine. Where does this go? Eh, uh, nowhere. Right, okay. What's that? Punch doesn't work. Eh, uh, okay. That's why we need to talk hat thing. Oh, no. Oh. All right, okay, hang on. Right. So it, it feels, it looks beautiful. Nice, nice bit of panel like scroll in there. Um, so it looks lovely. But it feels a little bit sluggish. And it might be me, it might be the way I'm playing. So it feels, in its presentation and everything, it feels a little bit like a, a very well polished Amiga game. Um, it feels like a CD32 game. Ahem, yes. The, uh, it could have, this could have come out in a CD32, I don't know why it never did, because Ubisoft did quite well with the, the, the Amiga. So, yeah, it, it looks lovely. The animation's really nice in it. Um, that jumps a little bit too floaty for me, but you know, that's that's just me. What's this little guy? Can we do anything with him? What is he? Oh no, he's a bad guy, right, okay. 
stick my tongue out here, there you go. Right, turn around, what happens if we go here? Okay. Is there anything? So... Can we get out there? No. So... The level design's kind of interesting. These little guys that we can't do anything with yet. Alright, okay, hang on. So, I'm going to go back here for a minute. Can I go up here? Right. So we can it kind of get up there. Right. I'm hoping that there's a way further along here. Now I have, oh god, stop it. Yeah. I haven't read the instructions, which is kind of against what I normally do, but the, the, the manual's quite thick to be honest. Um, stop it. So I don't know what these little blue balls actually do, what, what purpose they serve. Um, that looks like something should happen with that. It looks, it's a floating platform, that looks like it should be, oh god. Looks like something should be happening. But no. <laughs> That's great cool. So So he's not gonna make that jump. So there's bits of the game Eh, uh, right, okay How are you supposed to get that? You can't swim None of the other buttons do anything Is this one of these games that you have to go back you unlock different powers later on and you have to go back and play through certain levels. I hope not because that annoys me senseless. Um, yeah. Oh god. I hate text in a game, especially when it's got daft voices. Nintendo stuff, that really annoys me in Nintendo stuff when you're listening to all that kind of nonsense. Alright, now we can punch, okay. All right, that, that's quite cool. I like the I like the cartoon cartoon noise. Um, all right, okay. All right, that's quite nice. <coughs> yeah. It, 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 it feels like an Amiga game, it's got a real Amiga feel to it, which is a good thing. Um, Alright, okay. Try a jammy dodger biscuit. What are these guys? Oh, alright, okay. Is there any point to that? Oh, hang on, right, okay. I thought you maybe could lie down and punch to, to kind of get that golden glove, whatever that does. Um, now you can punch these things off, can't you? Yep, right, okay. Oh! Get off. 
Ah. Aha. All right, okay. So this obviously ups your, ups your strength, I presume. How, how are you supposed to get that one? Hmm. See, things like that annoy me. There's no obvious way, there's no platforms above, there's no way to get that. There's no way to get this thing back out of the water. Hmm, so we'll let that one go. Can't be bothered. His nose there, get out of it. Let's see. Oh. Oh, no, steady. So, I don't know how you. So you have to physically touch these things. I thought maybe you could punch to grab it, but but apparently not. So um, yeah. See, how are you supposed to get that without dying? That seems pointless. Same with this. How are you supposed to get that? What is that all about? So, I can't be bothered going through that again. So I wonder if there's another one of these things along here somewhere then. Yeah. Well, you know. So, <clears throat> yeah, Rayman. I don't know, maybe if I read the instructions I'll enjoy it better. It's, um... It's a really nice looking game, the animation, and it's lovely. I definitely think this could have been a CD32 release. I think it would have been a really good CD32 release. Um, his jump is a little bit floaty for me. The game feels a little bit too sluggish. Now, I don't know if you get special things, if you get more of these ball things or something that speed you up. I, I don't know. Or if the power thing speeds you up. But for now, it just feels a little bit too sluggish for me, and I don't know if it's because it was the first Rayman, and you know, they were just kind of honing it or whatever. Um, it's definitely nice, it's definitely, I can see the merit in it and why it's a, a much loved series, but it's not really floating my boat, it's not ticking my box at the moment, so we're going to leave it there. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know if, if you love or, or hate Rayman or, you know, or somewhere in the middle. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. 
Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.